Good morning and welcome to day two at Elkmont Campground near Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Last night we had cool weather. The clouds moved out. We have blue skies this morning. Uh, it feels fantastic. The sun peeking through these trees is amazing. This campground, if you can put up with not having the utilities or the shower or the bathhouse, it is an amazing section of forest. One of the nicest forests that I've seen in the Appalachian Mountains and we've seen a lot of the Appalachian Mountains. We were cooking breakfast. I was about to take you around and show you the campground, which you can, man, you can see some of the sights here behind me. Um, there's a river down here and all of these sites back right up to the river. Um, and I'd say out of the entire campground, probably, um, oh, 30 or 40 sites back to the river like this. We were sitting there having our morning coffee and my wife says, why don't you go check if something opened up overnight on the water? So I did. Um, it was about 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning, so our chances were pretty high, right? Sure enough, they had this site that you see behind me. So uh, we have the next two nights right here on the water, which is pretty good because another camper was telling me that this being the most popular campground in all of the national park system. So here's the site. Give us a review on the hammock. Well, we've had it for a few, for two years, three now years now. It's all right. I like it. Too bad you have the hammock in these miserable places. I know it's terrible. We're hooking one hammock under the other. Don't fall. Oh, falls. <laughs> Did it, folks. <laughs> After much deliberation, I present you version two. Version two, two independent trees, independent straps. Works much nicer. I just got up from a two hour nap. That's what you do when you camp, right? And I can't get over this view. I have to keep showing it to you. Look at this, out the door. Can you beat that? No, you can't. Look, out the kitchen window. We're out of windows. Um, well, the bedroom window. find my shoes. I'm late getting the grill started. We're having ribs. 
Oh man, out the main door with no screen. Nobody right asking where this place is because I won't tell you. Hey bud. Hey dad. What you been doing? Uh, sitting, sitting in our hammocks. Go look. You know what work? I've been working. You've been sleeping. Working. Sleeping. He's been sleeping, folks. I'm late getting the ribs on. I gotta get the grill started. It's a little after five. And um, Cindy's giving me those looks like we're not gonna be eating until it's dark. So we got the ribs on. So what do you think? Hearing that sizzle. We also have the battery charging and I don't know, been a while probably since I've showed you. The generator is a Yamaha um, 2400. What I do is I use a Black & Decker battery charger and let me show you. And so the generator feeds the charger and the charger feeds battery if you were to look inside it charges the battery at about 14.5 to 14.6 volts and the charger says at a 40 amp rate our char onboard charger never goes over 13.6 volts um, and I, I don't know what amperage but less than 40 this makes a significant difference uh, two to three hours a day of running this and I can go from a dead battery to enough to get through enough to get through the next night. And I'm gonna walk away from the generator like if you were on the street. Now this is a shotgun mic, so you're getting a um, you know amplified sound when I point it. But this is what it would be like from the street. It's barely audible over the noise of the river, actually. Especially if you get to the other side of the truck where the exhaust is not pointing. Just a very low rumble, very little rumble. All right, friends, this is how Roland Ragu does his dinner. We got a rack of ribs right on the river. Fago. Boys are having Fago. Tell us about Not. the Fago. Where is it from? Uh, Michigan. This is cotton candy Fago. Cotton candy Fago. Don't Do ask why. Don't ask why. Do you recommend it as a health food? No, definitely not. Unless, unless your health is getting diabetes. So I tasted the Fago Cotton Candy Soft Drink. And the verdict is... He thinks it's terrible. It tastes a lot like... Sugar. You know when medication tries to taste like something different? Like NyQuil tries to taste like cherry? No, they don't. And it really doesn't taste like cherry. No. So that's the same, I think, with this. At first, there's a little hint of cotton candy. Fair? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As they drink the whole two liters down. Hey, we have to. Someone has to. Yep. <laughs> there's a reason it's there on the shelves in the first place. So here are the list of Fago flavors we've had. Red Pop, a strawberry soda. It's all right, I guess. You got to get used to it. Um, Cream soda, if you've had a cream soda before, you know it's sweet and it's good. The cream soda was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Best cream soda I've had. There's Rock and Rye, which is like kind of Coca-Cola mixed with cream soda. Like vanilla, vanilla Coke if you've had it. I haven't, but I'm pretty sure it tastes like that. What is your favorite? And the new one, cotton candy, the one I don't like. Tastes like cotton candy at first, then medicine. 
What was your favorite? Rock and Roll. Thank you, Thank Grandma, you Grandma Ruth. Ruth.